Bloomies are forever. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa, and today I am starting a shipping video. I know this video is going to be long and can be put in the background as you work. I enjoy videos like this just to take my mind off things and make me feel like I'm working with somebody or have some kind of company. So, hello. I sell on eBay part-time, very part-time lately. <laughs> like, oh, ridiculously part-time. Also, I had some dental work the other day sensitive gums. Every time I breathe in, it allows cold air, and then I breathe out. <laughs> so I thought I would show you, should I start that intro? Uh, I'm just a mess. I don't have lighting. I don't have anything. You don't care, right? You don't care. I'm a 39 year old woman sitting at her computer at home while her husband is at work. You don't care. So, new tissue paper. I am, I think it's it's okay to say, fairly obsessed with Jilson Roberts. Jilson Roberts is a company that produces a lot of paper items, tissue paper, gift wrap, gift bags. They sell 240 pieces for normally about 70 to $80. They're having closeouts. They've been having closeouts for a couple months now where you could get the 240 pieces for $35. And it's like last season's papers, but honestly, they're so gorgeous and they have so many. And there's a lot of Christmas ones, but there's a lot of neutral ones too. So I placed another order on Amazon for Jilson Roberts closeout tissue paper. And the company contacted me and said, we are out of that pattern, but we are glad to substitute any pattern in their catalog. What this has made my day, Jilson Roberts. I was so overwhelmingly excited and they wrote me through email, so I didn't have to decide on the spot. If they would have called me, I don't know how they would have called me, but if they would have called me, I probably would have just been like, too excited to answer, probably. That's how exciting my life is with tissue paper. So I was able to choose two of their new designs, which are not on closeout, but they gave me for the closeout price. So exciting. So are you ready to see what they are? Okay. The first is butterflies. And I wasn't sure about this, but they're mosaic butterflies. And I had chosen the owl paper, which I thought was pretty. And I usually do a floral with, with aqua. Of course, I'm obsessed with aqua and all shades of blue, really. This is, this is bordering on purple-ish. But it's very cozy, even though it's 90-something degrees here in Florida. What is it? There's people in the pool. It's Saturday. So the pool is a thing. Is it 92? Could it be 92 degrees out? No, it's 86. It feels like 92. Okay, I have not stepped outside yet. We'll, we'll just take their word for it. Outside is right outside my window, but it's good enough I look at it, right? We can pretend I went outside and, and tested it. It's warm, but inside I have air conditioning on. So the butterfly paper came. It's stunning. However, it's slightly sheer. I've never experienced this from Jolson Roberts. The weight of the paper is not as heavy and crisp as I'm used to. Still using it, still gorgeous. Nobody is going to complain about the weight of my tissue paper. <laughs> Let's say that. Oh, tooth. I'm not gonna complain about my tooth this whole time, I swear. Okay, the other one is my favorite. I think it's my favorite out of all the tissue papers I have ever had. So it's aqua. I'll just show it to you. It is a water marble with aqua and shades of blue, and I did a metallic gold. Oh, right? Oh, so pretty. I've never had a paper for them with metallic in it. It's stunning. Jilson Roberts, good job. Also, if you want to sponsor me. Um, so 
With the tissue paper, I will show you some other wrapping supplies I have that are new and I don't think I've shown on film. So I thought about package toppers and thought what I would like to get. And I'm very big into skincare. And when I say that, I don't mean like I spend hundreds of dollars on skincare, but I would rather have something skincare, a fun face mask. Um, I don't know. So I bought these on Amazon. They were 100 face masks for, I don't want to give you the wrong price, but I think 38 or 39 dollars. My husband and I have a Amazon Rewards gift card. Oh, the Jillson Roberts paper is normally, si well, <laughs> 65 to 70 dollars if you can't find it on closeout. Closeout was 35, that's what I paid for it. Um, we have an Amazon Rewards gift card, so we get points back and then they just automatically attach to our Amazon account. So I always feel like, like I get things cheaper than I, I do. Why aren't these in my cart or my orders? So I'm pretty sure I paid under $40 for these. Did I archive them? What in the world did I do with these silly things? I just purchased them. I might have archived them. Sometimes I do that with eBay items. Here we go. Okay, 100 Korean sheet masks. Right now they're $39.99. I think that was a little bit more. There might have been um, a coupon code, but 100 sheet masks <laughs> for $40. They're so cool. They're Korean, obviously, made in Korea. So there's a gajillion different kinds. There are 10 different kinds, 10 different kinds. And I'll read you some of them because some of them came and were just a little weird. Would you be weirded out if you had a sheet mask that said placenta? I'm not sure what I'm going to use the placenta sheet masks for. That's just a weird one. The others are aloe, which are aqua, so we're totally into those. If I could have just picked one, I would have picked those, but collagen, cucumber, enzymes, pearls, vitamin, royal jelly, and now then we get to like the weirdish ones, but still not placenta. Stem cell and snail. I can't imagine there's real snail in them, but they're all in Korean, so I have no idea. The little bit, not all in Korean, they're 99% they're in Korean, but the little bit of English is kind of funny. I loved odd translations. I know that's a whole thing of English to whatever translations. When I went to Russia and Moldova when I went to college, that was a funny thing to walk through to shopping centers and see all of the funny English translations. So snail, stem cell, and placenta. They have almost five star reviews, so I felt pretty good. The variety is insane. A hundred cheap masks. Somebody wishes the set of 160 were available. I have tried these and they're pretty good. For sheet masks, they are better than most sheet masks. You don't care about my sheet masks. I'm moving on. They're really good sheet masks. Okay. We also have a bag of goodies of initials that nobody has purchased anything from me with these initials in like six months. So we have F. I think I've got a few Y's. Yep, a few of those. I thought there'd be a Yvonne out there or a Yvette. There's gotta be people named that. I know there are. I have some thank you cards from viewers. I have two, two F's, a couple Y's. I've got these, which are balloons. I paid about five to seven cents for them. I also thought a nice package topper might be screen cleaners. My husband and I purchased these and like them a lot. And I purchased these from a Amazon glitch website. I wonder if I could find out how much I purchased them for. 
So they're basically like glasses cleaners, clean, screen cleaners, but they work really well. I've never had a glasses cleaner that works as well as these, and these were really cheap. Okay, let's see. I feel like I purchased a box of 100 for under $2 shipped. What, what are these called? Lens wipes. Here they are. I purchased them in October. Order details. Let's see if I remember. Okay, so I purchased two boxes of 200. Oh my goodness. What was I thinking about purchasing 400 of these? <laughs> 400? Who's using 400 of these? I purchased them for $4 was the grand total. So a box of 200 was $2 shipped, which is crazy. And I probably thought like, oh, I clearly need to buy multiples of these. That's so funny. So anyway, I thought that might be an okay package topper that people would use for their computer screens or cameras or cell phones or glasses. I don't know. My husband and I have probably used, I don't know, 20 of them. I've got some hair ties, I've got some playing cards, some vintage playing cards, and of course, we have ribbon. I am finally on my new thing of raffia, which is around my arm right now. It is 1,000 yards for under $30, which it's really good, right? A thousand yards of raffia. I don't know. I thought that was really good. And my business cards, which I will grab. I buy these from Vistaprint. Um, they're nothing really like that I designed. This is the basic Vistaprint design. You can click into this and just add your own. I will say this, I think business cards I don't know where I got the idea for this. A really cool one, they just have a saying on the front and then you, for a few dollars more, you can put the saying on the back for your links or anything you wanna put. But I have had a lot of people say they keep these and they read them and the saying meant a lot to me, especially when I was really sick. So they say, can we all say it? Let's, let's get in focus. They say, you are enough, you are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. Love that. And I think, I think that's it. We have washi tape. We have lots of tapes. We have poly mailers. I pulled out some more in the fish print. Oh. Grab these. Uh, the aqua ones are a little bit bigger. And then I had uh, Jason. Pretty sure it's Jason. Send me some aqua with lemon slices and like citrus slices, which are so fun. I've never seen these. So those are also poly mailers. Yeah. And if I come across anything else, some some older tissue papers. Um, your last season pff, tissue paper. I do have links below for cheaper tissue papers. You absolutely never have to feel like you need to do all of this. I love doing this, as you know. This is one of my very favorite parts about eBay and one of the parts that I can do without too much pain. Um, sometimes thrifting and standing and photographing and bending and photographing, <laughs> it's a little rough. But shipping is usually fairly okay, we're gonna say. So I am going to pull the items. I sold, I think, four items yesterday. And again, it's Saturday, so people were paying last night. I won't have to ship these until Monday, but I thought while I was feeling okay, I would go ahead and do this. So four items sold three of which are black and one is dark gray. So boring items, but they sold for a little bit more than my average, like $4.99. So what happens is when I usually make a ship with me video, I only have 50, 60 items, 69 items on right now. 
and I have multiples of a few items. So it's probably only like 50 to 55 items of different items. I have been up to 1200 a gazillion years ago. In recent memory, I'm definitely more around that 100 mark because I've been putting some time into eBay, not eBay, YouTube, that's what we're doing and editing videos and really enjoying just editing those so what usually happens with the ship with me i send all of my items to auction and then i send them to auction for a little bit of a lower price or a very low price if i'm just like okay i'm so over this it hasn't sold in six months i don't keep items for that long unless I'm in love with the item. <laughs> I have items in my shop that have definitely been there over six months, but <laughs> it's just stuff I'm oddly attached to with a funky pattern or I like believe somebody's gonna be really excited about eventually when it sells, if it sells. So I send the items to auction, usually at the end of every month. A lot of items sell, 10 to 20 items sell, and then I do a ship with me. So at the end of April, I forgot to send items to auction. I just wasn't feeling well. I get some lidocaine injections on Tuesday, so I will be able to sit for longer periods of time. I'll be able to bend. I'll be able to move a little bit better. But April came and went, and now it's May 11th. And I'm like, oh yeah, I need to work on eBay a little bit. So. I was pretty excited that four things sold and I have another listing that ends in an hour and a half that has bids. Yay me, look at that. And all of these items didn't sell for my normal clearance them out for $4.99. So hopefully you enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. I will probably go lay in bed a little bit and then pull the items. So I'll be back. Happy Monday morning. It's now suddenly Monday morning, so let's roll with that. I had pulled all of the items Saturday, and let's get into printing. The first item that sold was a brand new Champion sweatshirt. I got this from my Indo Trading box. Yeah. And it sold for $31 plus shipping. This is headed off to the Global Shipping Program and is going to a country I've never heard of. So let's Google that. I do ship internationally, but there's some countries I don't ship to. This is headed to a city in Israel. I don't think I shipped to Israel, so that's interesting that they purchased it through the Global Shipping Program. So all I have to do is print it like a regular label. The only way I would have even known this was headed internationally is the address for this person. So they give their name and then it says reference number blah, blah, blah in Airport Exchange Boulevard, Boulevard, Kentucky. So it's a very particular address in Kentucky. I just print it like a regular label. So the Indo trading boxes have done pretty well. I don't think I'll be getting another one, but they are a really great way of getting inventory shipped. I've heard some mixed reviews, but I had pretty good boxes. It's just the price went up so drastically that I'm inclined not to do it again. I tried it, I'll move on. So because this is going to Kentucky, I can put it in a padded flat rate priority envelope. And here's what those look like. They're bubble envelopes. You can order from the USPS website for free. And anything I can fit in this is $7.33. I'll probably be able to do that, but because Kentucky is only a few states from me, I'm going to see what a regular priority package is going to cost for two pounds. It's going to be between one and two pounds. Let's see what eBay says. It is $8.25. So I do want to try to fit it in this padded flat rate to get that flat rate price. So now I know how to fold that a little bit better. 
I'm gonna do the old roll trick. Perfect. And I'm gonna put it in a plastic zipper mailer. This is going to Israel, but even if it was going down the street, I never know what package it's gonna run into. I know I've had packages as a buyer that I've received just be soaking wet or have some sense. So I wanna protect this as much as possible. Good. I'm gonna use some butterfly tissue paper. As a ribbon, we have some aqua kind of turquoise lace. This was in my background um, of my board and I had some extra, so there we go. thank you tag and a business card. I don't want to do a face mask if it's going overseas. I just don't know what customs would be like. And let's put this in the padded flat rate. We even have some to pinch. So there's no need to weigh this. The padded flat rate envelope is $7.33. As long as I put it in the U.S., from the U.S. to the U.S. Does that make sense? I'm in Florida. It's going to Kentucky. Even if it was going to Hawaii, it'd be $7.33. And continue. Pay for shipping and print label. to do is choose my printer. My husband was using our other printer, so I just have to default back and print. Thanks so much, Doran. The next item we're going to package is a Lafayette 148 Lafayette. Lafayette 148. This item also came from an Indo trading box. All of those items were brand new. 99% of them had tags. This retailed for $228 and had the markdown price of $89.97. I paid about $10 per item in that second box and $7 per item, a little bit less than $7 for the first box. I think this came from the second box. So it is shipping to Lenarda. Hello, Lenarda. And she paid $46 for the top and $4.99 for shipping. She's in Kentucky. So I knew that this was going to be a very lightweight top and it's going to ship first class mail. So first class mail is much cheaper. It's not much slower though. First class mail takes about two to three days and that's the same as priority. 
So if you have something that weighs under 16 ounces, it is absolutely the way to go for first class mail. A little side note, if you have something that's very pricey but is very lightweight, I probably would still go priority mail because priority mail has insurance built in, first class mail doesn't. So if it's lost or broken, I have had a few items over the years just arrive not in great shape. The people have taken, the buyers who receive the items have taken pictures. I go to USPS, file a claim, and a few weeks later I get a check back for the full amount, including shipping. So that's really nice to know. First class mail won't have that. But I highly doubt anything breaks in this piece of very flexible cloth. So first class mail it is. Zipper bag. I realized when I'm editing, anytime I wrap something, 99% of the time, I push on it afterward. <laughs> it's kind of a funny little thing I do. And anytime I forget it in editing, I'm like, I, I didn't push on that item. <laughs> do you notice that as well? Mm -hmm. We're gonna beat those bows. And so this is headed to Kentucky. It is very lightweight, so let's see what it weighs and then it would weigh with a face mask. Nine ounces, and if we add a face mask, let's go for the cucumber, it's 10 ounces, so this will absolutely get a face mask. Let's use the Aqua and Citrus Print Poly Mailer. First class mail, you're gonna need to provide your own packaging. But I usually get poly mailers for under four cents, three and a half cents a piece. I buy mine in lots of a thousand. I think I have one linked below that you can buy a thousand for under $40 shipped. I'll check that. 10.3 ounces, so we round up. This is the first one we're gonna weigh today, and so anything that doesn't go flat rate needs to be weighed. <laughs> so this is going to be 12 ounces. Cracking myself up here. She paid $4.99 for shipping. My cost is $3.96. So let's go ahead and purchase postage. And while we're waiting for this, it is kind of cloudy here. Just a little bit of blue sky. Let's see what our weather bug app says. Oh, we have a warning. What is the warning? Rip current statement. Okay, be careful if you go in the water. That's not happening today. It is 81 right now, just before nine o'clock in the morning. Love, love. My husband does have to perform today at a retirement community. And I have to head back to the dentist. Thank you, Leonarda. Love that. Um, but that's the only doctor I have today. Tomorrow is my big lidocaine injection. Okay, next item. The next item is headed to Opal. Hi, Opal. Opal is a viewer. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this back inside itself. This is two separate tops that have like a tiny little attachment that would be so easy to cut off. There we go. Is it? Come on, we can do it. We can do it, top. There we go. Okay, so it is a Chico's two-piece Let's see if I can fold this professionally. This is just one of those things that it's just gonna 
wrinkle itself and slink itself through the mail. So I'm going to try the best I can. Please know I folded that. <laughs> and this is headed to Opal in New York. I'm sure you all had heard that I grew up in New York on Long Island. Most of my, actually most of my family still lives in New York. My mom and my sister and her family live in Pennsylvania. But my extended family is mostly in New York. Perfect little package. Let's get a piece of tissue paper. We are going to use the water marbling. And this will be a nice lightweight one to add a sheet mask. She is gonna get royal jelly. It provides moisture. Don't all sheet masks? Are there any sheet masks that dry out your skin? I couldn't imagine. We will put this in a fish poly mailer. give it away since it's not flat rate it is first class mail 9.4 ounces so we round up to 10 oh, I just had a message let's be distracted with that for a second somebody is glad to get their package those messages always scare me <laughs> Okay, it is 4.6, not 4.6. It is $4.06. And she paid $4.99. So let's go ahead and purchase postage. Thank you, Opal. Fun little pile. Let's see if I pull this next item. I did. I did pull this next item. Go me. This was from the Indo Trading Box. Couldn't tell you which one, the first or the second. And it is from Nordstrom. They had the markdown price of $24.97. I cannot pronounce this brand. And I listed it and sold it for $9.99. Why in the world did this person pay $9.30 to ship this? Did eBay charge them $9.30 to ship this? They did. We're gonna fix that and I'll tell you how, but let's let's wrap it up first. Vine ribbon my mom gifted me will go nicely with the butterfly tissue paper. They do have some green in them. So I think what happened for shipping is I use flat rate shipping. There are three different shipping options you can pick as a seller. The first is free shipping, and all that means is you'll have to absorb the cost of shipping. So if you were trying to get $10 for your item and you know shipping is going to be five, 
you might price your item for 15 with free shipping. I, as a buyer, I don't really care if something has free shipping or not. I just care about the overall price and I won't buy from somebody who uses stock photos. That's just a me thing. You don't have to worry about that, of course, but I, I won't do that. Um, just because I think it's ethical to use your own photos. Let's leave that at that. Um, so the second way to ship something is flat rate shipping. So if you're selling something for $10, you can put $5. Knowing it might be between like $3.50 and $5, you just kind of round it and do $5 shipping or $7.99 shipping or whatever you think sounds fair and cover costs. That's basically what I do when I'm listing. I know something is is a lighter item or a heavier item, but can fit in a flat rate mailer. So I might do four or five dollars for first class and seven ninety nine for priority. I don't think people realize how expensive something is to ship. If I shipped this bit of ribbon in on eBay and I needed tracking. I couldn't ship this for less than three something. That's just the way it works. Something can fit in this. This is the cheapest priority option. It's $7.33, but if you took it to the post office, it'd be more than that. Just, it, it's very odd how much shipping is at this point, I think, and how much people don't realize it because Amazon conditions us free shipping, two days. That's not really how it works when you have an eBay business. Always, somebody might get their item within two days, but not likely. So I do flat shipping. So this item I knew would be first class. I thought I would put a price around $4.50 to $5. But I think what happens with this item, looking at the listing, it looks like I chose the third option. So the first option, free shipping. Second option, flat rate. You just give the buyer a price. Everybody gets that same price. The third option, which is great for very heavy, bulky items that won't ship in this, um, is calculated shipping. And that's what happened to this. And this is a good example of why I won't use calculated shipping for lighter items. The buyer lives in California, so I'm in Florida, so this is truly going cross country, and was charged $9.30. $9.30 for a very lightweight first class package. So let's actually see what this, um, this comes out to. Let's put a sheet mask on, royal jelly. And we will put this in a aqua mailer. Good old aqua mailer. Little side note, I saw a print on um, a piece of linen that I loved. So I have used Corey Jenin. Does she even use that name anymore? I don't think she does. You Pack and Ship, I'm pretty sure is her eBay name. She sells on her website, she sells she sells on every platform, on Amazon, on eBay. She does packaging. She started years ago, I started years ago. That's who I've basically used for 99% of my poly mailers. So she's on Instagram, as am I, and I sent her a private message saying, I love this print. Could you make this into a poly mailer? I know I could do custom mailers by myself and just have somebody print them off, but the minimum is 10,000 and I do not need 10,000 mailers. <laughs> that would be more than like years for me and I have a lot of, a lot of uh, supplies right now. So she wrote back and she said she absolutely loved the print and she would be um, checking into it. And then a few days later, she wrote back and she didn't need to do this. I was like, okay, thanks. And I thought that'd be the end of it. She wrote back and she said she's checking with her factory. She absolutely loves the print and it's very trendy and just some, some of the trends it hits were right on. So it might be a reality that one day I'm holding up a poly mailer that I sent somebody the print of. How cool is that, right? Okay, so let's see what this weighs. And then I'll do the calculated shipping again and figure that out. So this is 7.1 ounces, even with the mask. 
So I have to round up to eight and shipping is going to be $3.63. And again, they paid 9.30. So we have a difference of just under $6. So when I listed this, I obviously didn't put a flat rate and I let eBay calculate it and I put first class in there. And the person was charged way too much, way, way too much. They would not care. They've, they, they've already paid it. They're not thinking I'm gonna refund them back, but I absolutely am refunding them. So all I do is hop into PayPal and find the transaction. This person's name is Brian and they're in California. I already said that. So all I have to do is look at all of my PayPal transactions and find the one that says Brian. Let's see, where is Brian? Payment from Brian, last name. It shows the amount. I'm going to click into that PayPal transaction and scroll down three quarters of the way and under the amount he paid, there's issue a refund. When you click this, it brings you to a second page and you can type in the amount you want to refund. I'm not refunding everything. I'm going to refund $5. And I'm gonna refund $5 and I can put a note saying eBay overcharged you. eBay overcharged you for shipping. Here is the refund. They are not expecting this. I'm not expecting to hear back from them. But this wasn't, you know, taking me a gazillion years to package. It wasn't China. It wasn't, I'd be thrilled if I got a refund. So I'm gonna do that and refund complete. So let's go ahead and purchase postage. I still made a little bit on shipping and they now have $5 back from, from me, but from PayPal. And that's probably why I don't use calculated shipping most of the time. Thank you, Brian. Unless something that won't fit in here, it's like a very heavy coat that's four pounds. I'll use calculated shipping because the cost down the street or Tennessee, Georgia is going to be much cheaper. It'll probably be $9 for a very heavy bulky item rather than if I'm going to California, it might be $25. So that is very much a difference. But first class mail, there's not too much of a difference. So for first class mail, there's not that big of a difference. There's zero difference across country of no matter where I ship this in the US. This is always gonna be, for now, until the, the post office changes their rates, it's gonna be $7.33. So, next item is an Eileen Fisher black top. This is also from Indo Trading, and it is their Silk Georgette crepe top. The original price was $348. Okay, Eileen Fisher. And the markdown price was $139.97. I threw it on auction because I thought this might have some interest. And I put it on auction for my happy price for $49.99. It had two bids, so somebody outbid that first person and it sold for $55.55 plus $4.99 shipping. It is going to Cheryl in Illinois. Does anybody pronounce the S in Illinois? If you live in Illinois, let me know. Is it Illinois? I've heard people say it both way. Okay. Definitely a plastic bag for this. Everything gets a plastic bag, but silk with humidity and moisture, plastic bag. We will use the vine. <laughs> B 
beat you fingers. Oh, and we're using the aqua scissors that Mary sent me. Mary, these are really good scissors. So good. Um, we will put down a mask. Let's go to our, our bag of treasure here. Is anybody else in, oh, it's pearl, pearl mask. Was anybody else in a classroom growing up that had a treasure box? I think, don't quote me on this. Nobody's quoting me on this. I think my fourth grade teacher had a treasure box. All right. And first class mail, definitely first class mail, it's light. this away. Eight point three ounces, so let's round up to nine. And Cheryl paid four ninety nine. My cost is three ninety six. Purchase postage. Clean up some of these label things. Thank you, Cheryl. The next item sold yesterday and I haven't yet pulled it. It is a pair of jeans we found on the side of the road. <laughs> they are Adriano Gold something, AG jeans. And they sold for $9.99. Again, free inventory. I will take $9.99. And they sold in a flat rate mailer. Uh, they paid shipping of $7.99. So Janice in Texas, let me go pull your jeans. Here we go. I washed them obviously. I let them hang to dry. That's normally what I do for a lot of our um, laundry, our eBay laundry. My husband does 99% of our personal laundry, but our eBay laundry, when I'm up to it, I don't really love to use the dryer for the cost of it. and. It's Florida, <laughs> so I can I can put some clothing outside to dry. You know what? This might have even shipped. I mean, I have to put it priority mail, but these are, I don't know. I don't know if these are going to be first class or priority. Okay, they're 15.4. So any kind of packaging besides like just putting them in a bag, which would be fine. I've received items like that no judgment to people who are just putting things in bags awesome um but i love wrapping so any any tissue paper and ribbon is going to make these priority mail so that's a good thing i'm glad i'm glad i chose priority mail Just putting these in a zipper bag and a poly mailer. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, nope. It was it was over a pound already, so I would have to go without the zipper bag if I wanted to send it first class net. Vine ribbon on since it's right here. Business card, absolutely a sheet mask because at this point it's going flat rate, so I can put the heaviest substance on earth in here. I mean, probably not the heaviest substance on earth, but anything under 70 pounds. Okay. 
flat rate envelope. It's going to be $7.33 to Janice in Texas. Pat and flat rate. Just for fun, let's give this away. Don't have to though. One pound, 1.8 ounces. So this absolutely needs to go priority mail. $7.33. Purchase postage. Sorry, Polly Mailer. You'll get used another day. Print. And I think that was our last package. It was. washi tape and then I remembered I did a project for my husband yesterday with washi tape so I have to go recover that here's the project I did for my husband he now works out at a planet fitness and they have lockers and the first night funny story the first night he went into what he thought was the men's room locker room but it turns out it was the women's so when he went back to retrieve his stuff from the locker he walked all through it. He could not find his lock. He eventually realized he probably went in the win women's room and then had an employee go in and get, get his lock. So at this point, he needs locks that are a little bit different than everybody else's. So I put a piece of washi tape on it. So now that I'm finished packaging, I can put washi tape on these. And we bought washi tape I always forget the exact store. Office Max, we were trying to find a, a, a comfortable chair for me. And as we walked out, there's a whole display. And most of them were pink and just shades of pink, but I think they were 24 cents a roll. So we grabbed all of them. I will be set for washi tape for years. make it look a little bit pretty and like I said one piece of washi tape is costing me less than a penny I, I would imagine so yay I will put these outside in a plastic bag I don't have any of the USPS bins right now normally if my postman um, drops off bins if I ask him I don't have any so to make it easier for him I'll put these in like a Walmart plastic bag and then he can just carry them but I will leave feedback for everybody and I will see you the next time I'm shipping. Thanks. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy. Where, where are we looking? I wonder where you see the wicker chairs up there? Oh, yeah, that's good. I see it is. We, we think they're giving them away, right? Yes, they're out by the road, yes. Okay, I'm gonna check on them. Okay. Again, nothing we could probably use, but they're okay. cool, right? <laughs> I want these. These are like super well-made, really nice chairs. We shall see if they are nice enough to pick up. It's a carpet cleaner. It's carpet cleaner. You want to pick it up? Throw it in. Do you want me yeah. I say we take it. Okay. We're taking one, we're taking two. Okay. You want the box in 
everything? Yep. Thanks.